Guess what? The Honda Civic Type R is coming to America. Yes, it is true. John Mendel, the company's executive vice president, confirmed this little bit of news earlier today at their press conference right here at the New York Auto Show. Now, aside from the availability of a factory hot-rodded Civic, there's plenty more to share about the so-called concept car I'm standing next to, and I'm not talking about its Lamborghini-esque paint job and exhaust tip. Oh, no. For starters, the upcoming 10th generation model is all new from hood to hatch. It's got a longer wheelbase, is lower to the ground, and has a wider stance. Its body was even crafted in Honda's Los Angeles design studio. Overall, the car should be more refined, stylish, and dynamic than ever. But if you can believe it, there's even more to the new Civic than all of that. Giving customers some welcome choice, this car will be offered in four different flavors, including a sedan, a coupe, an SI model, and a hatchback. Yes, for the first time ever, Americans will be able to purchase a five-door version of the Civic. Beyond that, the car will also feature a 1.5-liter turbocharged VTEC engine, one that's part of the Earth Dreams family. It will be the first power plant of its type offered in North America. Harnessing that giddy-up is either a continuously variable transmission, or if you prefer to dance the three-pedal shuffle, a six-speed manual. With new powertrains, the 2016 Civic promises class-leading fuel efficiency and greater levels of refinement. It should also ease motorists' burdens with a slew of advanced driver assistance systems, things like adaptive cruise control, Honda Lane Watch, and more. You know, it feels like Honda has been asleep for a while now, coasting along on momentum it built up years ago. But with a pipeline filled with new products, the company is once again firing on all cylinders. Without a doubt, this new Civic is one of the most important vehicles they've introduced in years, and the 10th generation model is set to go on sale in the U.S. this fall. 